is going to record better for you. Um, this is the video 2-2, and this is adding integers. Hopefully you remember that integers are positive and negative numbers. And so when we add them, it's not the same as adding whole numbers. So 5 plus 3 is 8, but when we add some negatives and positives, we don't always do the same thing. So first of all, what we're going to do a lot of today is do some modeling. We're going to do some drawing. So let's go ahead and um, just jump right in. So first of all, when we have the signs that are the same, so when we have the same sign, Here's what we're going to do first. So let's say, for example, that I have negative 5 plus negative 6. And I'm going to put that in parentheses. That's just correct the way to write it. Um, what I do that, that's like saying I have 5 negatives plus 6 more negatives. Or it's like saying that I have 5 bananas plus 6 more bananas. Or it's like saying that I have 5 pencils plus 6 more pencils. So when I take 5 plus 6, I get 11. But I've got that negative, they're all negative, so my answer is negative 11. Um, another one, if I have a negative 8 plus a negative 10, that's saying that I have 8 negatives and I'm adding 10 more negatives, which gives me a negative 18. Now, if you wanted to, you could look on the number lines. So let's, uh, let's do this first one. You don't need to draw this number line, so I hope you're listening and not just watching. So I'm going to go. And we, were, we did our number line, so we know all about that. I go a little bit farther. All right, so if I start at negative 5, that's where I'm starting, and I'm adding 6 negatives. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I get to a negative 11. Sometimes if you like to see things, that might be a little better for you to look at. Okay, I'm going to give you one secret problem here. I have it in green. Here's our secret problem. Negative 20 plus negative 30 plus negative 10. I'd like you to solve that one for me. Okay, next we're going to go to, if, so if the signs are the same, by the way, oh, we'll write that little bit. Now we're going to do it if the signs are different. So up here we have the same sign. Now we're going to do a um, different sign. I mean opposite sign. If you just write this in your notes exactly the way that I am, it will be nice and organized. So when I have different signs, let's say for instance that I have um, Oh, before we do that, we need to talk about zero pairs. And a zero pair is one positive and one negative. And when you have one positive and one negative, when you put them together, they equal zero. So a zero pair is going to be very useful for us as we are adding positive and negative numbers together. Um, if you wanted to look at it on a number line, and let's say we started at zero, or started at um, one, and we added a negative one, we'd get back to zero. Or if we did it the opposite way, we started at negative one and added a positive one, we'd get back to zero. So a positive one and a negative one together are zero. A positive two and a negative two together are zero. A positive 3 and a negative 3 together are 0. Any number in its opposite is 0, and that's a 0 pair. So now when we're adding with different signs, we're going to use that. So when we do that, let's take a look here at negative 4 plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to model this. I'm going to draw four negatives. And it would be a good idea for you to put this in your notes. And then I'm going to put three positives underneath. Now we just said up here that a positive 1 and a negative 1 is 0. So this equals 0 right here. This equals 0. And this equals 0. So those are all nothing. What's left? A negative 1. <coughs> Next. Let's erase this and let's try another one. Um, 
The next one I'd like to do is a negative or a seven plus a negative five. Let's draw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. All of these equal zero. They're nothing. So what's left? Two positives. So my answer is a positive two. So when we look here, what we do is we take the absolute values and subtract them. And our sign is whichever we have the most of, positive or negative. When I look at this one right here, 4 minus 3 is 1. I have more negatives, so my answer is a negative 1. When I subtract 7 and 5, that's the absolute values. I get 2. I have more positives, so my answer is a positive 2. Let's look at a couple more over here. Negative 10 plus 15 equals 5. Because I don't want to have to draw it out every time. That's going to take a long time. Okay. So when I have um, a negative 10 and a positive 15, I have more positives, so I know my answer is going to be positive. And when I subtract the absolute values, I get 5. One more. 19 plus negative 9. When I um, take the absolute values and subtract them, it's 19 minus 9, which is 10, and I have more positives, so my answer is a positive 10. Here's one of your secret problems. 24 plus a negative 8. I want to know what that is. That's your secret problem. All right, one more thing is that when we have maybe more than one um, Maybe we have more than one um, number that we're adding together. And when we do that, um, we need to look for opposites to add. Look for opposites. So let's look at this one. Let's try 4 plus a negative 8 plus a negative 4. Now we could just go left to right. But we also just learned that the addition is committed. That means we can add in any order. So if I wanted to, I could take 4 plus negative 4 first. And I know when I look back here at uh, 0 pairs, I know that that's 0. So 4 and negative 4 is 0. So what's left? Negative 8. Let's try another one. Um, negative 9 plus 10 plus negative 15 plus 2. Now, those don't have any opposites, so I'm probably just going to go left to right. I'm going to do negative 9 plus 10 first. That has signs that are opposite, so I'm going to subtract the absolute values, and I get 1. So I have 1 plus negative 15 plus 2. Well, I can add 1 and 2 now, and that gives me 3. 3 plus negative 15, I subtract the absolute values, and I have more negatives, so my answer is a negative 12. The secret word today is eclipse. Um, so here's two rules, and I would put a star here by these. We kind of want to make sure we get these. The first rule is if the signs are the same, add and keep the sign. If the signs are different, I'm going to abbreviate different, subtract the absolute values, and keep the sign of the most. So if you've got more positives, it's going to be positive, and if you've got more negatives, it's going to be negative. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I can't wait to see you and talk about this some more. Bye-bye.